Hello students, I am Dr. Kushpalata Hedge, working as professor and head in the Department of Physics, Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So today, let us study about the torsional pendulum experiment. So we know the aim of the experiment is to measure the moment of energy of a given body and also to calculate the rigidity modulus of the experimental wire. Let us know what are the apparatus used in the experiment. We have two regular bodies, one is a rectangular plate, other is a circular plate. We are using a digital stop clock and there is a reference stick and there is a experimental wire. There is an experimental wire. Now, the radius of this wire will be given and the length of this wire we have to measure. Between the two chuck nuts, we have to measure the length of the wire. Radius of the wire will be given. We have to measure the length of the rectangular plate and also the breadth of the rectangular plate using a scale. The mass of the plate will be given. In the same way, we have a circular plate. Mass of the circular plate will be given. We have to measure the radius of this circular plate. When once we know all these readings, we can calculate the moment of inertia of the rectangular plate and also the circular plate. To calculate the moment of inertia of the rectangular plate, so we have noted the length of the plate as 16.8 cm, breadth of the plate as 12 cm and mass 1.253 kg. Now, to measure the moment of inertia of a rectangular plate when the axis of suspension when the axis of suspension is passing through the center passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane so for that the moment of inertia formula is i is equal to m1 into L square plus B square divided by 12. By substituting all the values, the moment of inertia is found to be this much. Second one, even we can calculate the moment of inertia of this rectangular plate when the axis of suspension is perpendicular to the length. When the axis of suspension is perpendicular to the length. So, the moment of inertia formula will be I is equal to M1 L square by 12. M1 L square by 12. By substituting the values, you can find the moment of inertia. In the same way, for the circular plate. For the circular plate also, the moment of inertia of the circular plate. Moment of inertia of the circular plate when the axis of suspension. Axis of suspension is passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane. So we can calculate the moment of inertia by the formula I is equal to M2 R square by 2. Substituting the values, you will get moment of inertia as this. And also, we can calculate the moment of inertia of the circular plate when the axis of suspension is parallel to the plane. Is parallel to the plane so that we have to suspend the wire like this. So this shows the axis of suspension is parallel to the plane. So in that case the formula, in that case the formula will be I is equal to M2 R square by 4. So let us calculate the moment of inertia. Now we have calculated the moment of inertia of the rectangular plate and the circular plate for different axis of suspension for different axis of suspension now let us start the experiment now this is the torsional pendulum experimental setup we have an experimental wire where one end of the wire is connected to a rigid support to the other end of the wire we have fixed a rigid body a circular a, rect a rectangular plate now, the setup is called as torsional pendulum. If we twist the lower end of the wire, if we twist 
the lower end of the wire the body executes to and fro oscillations these oscillations are called as torsional oscillations now here we have to make a reference point we have to make a reference point i'll take this as a reference point if that end is coming towards this end and going back to the same position is taken as one oscillation like this 10 oscillations we have to count for the 10 oscillations we have to note the time we have to note the time like it is going to that way and coming back to the same position is one oscillation again it goes there coming back to the same position two oscillation so like this 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 up to 10 oscillations we have to count the time so when once the 10 oscillations are over 10 oscillations are over so we can note the time we have got after 10 oscillations the time as 84.5 seconds you can repeat the same experiment for the second trial then you will get t1 and t2 take the mean value you will get t when once you will get t that t is nothing but it is the time for 10 oscillations but i need period period means time taken for one oscillation time taken for one oscillation so t capital t is equal to t by 10 you will get the period when once you know period we also know the moment of inertia of the body so when you know this i and t you can find out i by t square find out i1 i by t square and you can tabulate it then now we have connected the rectangular plate the axis of suspension is perpendicular to length perpendicular to length so let us twist again the lower end of the wire lower end of the wire so that the body is undergoing torsional oscillation so again you take some reference point and you have to count the oscillations like for 10 oscillations you have to note the time if i take this point it is coming to this end and going back to the same position is one oscillation so like that for 10 oscillations we have to note the time so when once you note the time for 10 oscillations again go for the second trial take the mean value of t find the period we know the i value find out i by t squared now uh, let us change the uh, body let us take a circular plate so the circular plate is connected in such a way that the wire is the axis of suspension is passing through the center perpendicular to the plane let us twist the lower end of the wire twisting is nothing but torsion the body executes torsional oscillations so i'll take this as a reference point so what the from here it is going back to the same position is one oscillation so let us count uh, 10 oscillations for 10 oscillations let us note the time so now after 10 oscillations we have will note the time trial 1 trial 2 so then again take the mean value you note what is i by t square i by t square now once again so let us change the axis of suspension for the circular plate and we will twist the wire so it is undergoing uh, oscillations let us note note the uh, readings for time for time for 10 oscillations and tabulate so after tabulating we can find out what is i by t square now here we can observe i by t square remains constant irrespective of the body and the axis of suspension 
the i by t square remains constant you take the average of all the four readings and you find out what is the mean i by t square value calculation the formula to calculate the rigidity modulus of the experimental wire is given by eta is equal to 8 pi l by r to the power of 4 into i by t square average we know here l is the length of the experimental wire we have to measure the measured value is 16.8 cm nothing but 16.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and small r stands for the radius of the wire the radius of the wire will be given as 0.25 mm we know milli is 10 power of minus 3 so it is 0.25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and we also know what is i by t square average mean value let us substitute all the values and do the calculation by substituting all the values using calculator if you calculate it you will get the rigidity modulus of the wire as 7 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square 7 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square so this is how we can calculate the rigidity modulus of the given experimental material of the given experimental wire and also the moment of inertia of the body using uh, by setting up torsional oscillations using torsional pendulum at the end we have to write the result the result is the rigidity modulus of the material of the wire is 7 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square thank you